Friends, welcome back to Self Made. Chris Crone here. Grant Thompson. In this video, we're teaching you how to get sponsored. So on YouTube, one of the best things that can happen to you as a YouTube creator is to have a brand reach out and want to sponsor your videos. Now there's a lot of you watching this that are like, sponsor? What does that word even mean? Some of you might know, some of you might not. So, so why don't we break that down? What does it mean to actually get a sponsorship? There's quite a few different ways that you could be sponsored. When you hear somebody in a video saying, this video is sponsored by, it's probably because they're working with that brand, trying to promote their product in some way or another. A person, now that brand may send them a free product that they just feature in the video and have standing by in the background. They call that a product placement or they may actually want you to do a physical call to action where you say hey guys go buy this product links down in the description that's really the more common one now Grant I know you have a lot of experience so before we break down how you attract sponsors and how you how you actually make that happen will you just share some of your favorite sponsorship deals and things that you've been able to do and the kind of money that that, that grows with that opportunity as you become more successful on YouTube you bet and I, I do want to say that as you have more of an audience as you have more attention obviously the budgets raise a lot because from a brand perspective what they're they're doing is using your YouTube channel as a platform to share their brand message and hopefully sell some products. If they're not selling products, they're not going to want to do much future business with you. What but, are some of the deals that you've done? Yeah, I worked with DeWalt. I've worked with Lowe's Home Improvement. I've worked with uh, Warner Brothers. I've worked with Lenovo. Um, some of the biggest brands out there, Volkswagen, and then some, uh, some other brands that are very popular and you hear all the time like Audible.com and HelloFresh and Dollar Shave Club or Gillette. Uh, it's wonderful how many brands want to reach out and use YouTube as a marketing platform. So how do we get you to get your videos sponsored? In essence, a sponsored video means a brand is willing to pay you some money to tell your audience about their product. You're basically doing your own commercial for them. Did you have any questions about that? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what, Grant, just for a moment here, show me the money. Like, what does that financially translate into? What are the possibilities of what that can be like? Why, why should our audience here actually even care about sponsors in the first place? Okay, why do you want to get sponsored? That's a good question. Well, for one, the sponsored money is going to help you buy new equipment and help fund your videos. If we look at AdSense, kind of like the bread and butter of YouTube, I would look at sponsor deals like the meat and potatoes. Those are your big windfalls of money. And as you get into the big brand deals with the big companies, with the big numbers, you can be looking from 50 50,000 to 150,000 and in some rare cases quite a bit more than that. But I'd say, you know, average brand deals, average big brand deals are probably between 30 to 80,000 dollars per video. Now just think for a moment about that amount of money and it probably depends on the size of your audience and how big that audience is and what kind of reach you generally have there. But you know, Grant and I, we both have extensive background in real estate investing and you probably remember the days of flipping a house and making $40,000 and mm -hmm. now you produce a video for another company and you, you mention them and you talk about them or you integrate their product into one of your done for you's and mm -hmm. all of a sudden you're getting a $40,000 or an $80,000 check. That's right. That's got to be probably a pretty cool feeling, huh? It's a really cool feeling, but I do want to keep it in perspective. This has been 10 years of work to get to this point now where we're seeing those kind of returns. When you're starting off, it's going to be more realistic to reach out and find brand sponsorships between the $100 to $500 range. And there are websites that you can sign up for to put your name on a list so when brands are looking for influencers between a certain subscriber range, you can pop up and take that $500 to do a promo to your audience. And so I can just go through really quick and list off a few different companies that you could search for that would help you get started. One is Relio.com, R-E-E-L-I-O.com. It's very simple, sign up, create a profile, and then when brands have something, you can actually be notified to your email and almost bid for it or tell them what you want to to do to be involved. Awesome, that's great. Relio? Yep, Relio. Another website just like Relio is called Famebit, and this was actually acquired by Google and YouTube as you know, a sponsorship platform for reaching out. Again, a lot of the deals on this platform are going to be pretty small. They're going to be in the $100 to $500 range. Occasionally, you'll see something come through for about $2,000. But when you're getting started on YouTube, that's probably going to match where you're at. And that extra couple hundred bucks will really make a difference in helping you create that video content. So this is really, really cool. So now, are you still using those sites or are you just have you outgrown them and you're now too big for something like that? Yeah, I personally have never used those sites. When I started doing brand deals, they actually started reaching out to me. Now, in your YouTube About section, there's an option for you to put in contact email address. And I've also put a contact email address in the video description to every video on my channel. So if somebody from a brand is watching my video and they're like, I like this guy, I want to reach out to him and see if we can be integrated with him, they'll be able to find that information in my description or in my About section. So Grant, tell us about your first brand deal. 
My first brand deal happened when I was about 750,000 subscribers. You know the saying goes, where the attention goes, the money flows. Right. And I guess by 750,000 subscribers, I'd attracted enough attention that some uh, agencies started reaching out to me. Now, uh, the first brand deal I did, um, they basically said, how much uh, money would you want if you could guarantee 100,000 views for a video? So we worked out something that seemed reasonable. You know, I made my offer, they counter offered, I was new to it. And so, you know, I took $3,000, which, okay. which to me represented about two weeks worth worth of work on AdSense. So you had to be pretty so excited about that actually. I was stoked, you know, that was almost like, a, actually almost a month's worth of revenue for one video. But did they have any stipulations on what that needed to look like? What was that deal like? Yeah, that deal was actually really, really flexible. The only thing was they wanted me to have 100,000 views and they have something called talking points where they're like, these are all our brand messaging that we want the audience to know about and of course a link to come purchase our product. So, so. when you're doing a sponsored deal, um, the, each deal probably is gonna be a little bit different, but there's gonna be some stipulation, there's gonna be some terms there of what it needs to look like. And if you take a look at this one, it was, we want you to use particular language, we want mm -hmm. you to submit, and get them to go to a certain link, and we want to get a certain number of views. And as long as you meet that criteria, the $3,000 check is yours. Has, is that pretty typical of other sponsorships that there's been specific terms of, hey, make sure you say this, or we want this type of shout out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I would say it's, it's very typical that $3,000 for 100,000 views actually is about right. You know, my next video I guaranteed 200,000 views and they gave me $6,000 for it. Um, so for that particular company, that's a model that worked really well. And across the board, when you're negotiating your brand deals, I would probably use that rule of thumb. For every 100,000 views you're confident your video will get, you should be getting compensated somewhere around $3,000 in return. Hey gang, we're gonna stop things right here, but we're gonna continue with the rest of the information in the next video. In the meantime, if you can't wait to get started, we do have a link in the description to our self-made training. You can get tips, tricks, and get rocking today.